I also remember the time, Craig, when y'all was down in Maryland and Baltimore and shit, and you was married to Tina when Marquise was little, and I said that I had wanted to come and get Marquise or whatever, and you was like, no, no, this and that, and this and that, trying to talk all of this fly-ass shit. Uh, you know, I remember that at one point you was at work, and Tina called you to tell you that Marquise had put, he was plugging up his game in the outlet or whatever, and that she put her hands on my child. And you told her that she had to deal with me to call me. And I told her how I felt about the situation when she called me. And then I showed the fuck up there. And I had to go through all of that bullshit to show paperwork and shit like that to take my son out of that fucking place. And when I fucking came to fucking come get him, the medicine that you was giving my son wasn't even the fucking medicine that he was supposed to be taking. And that I took him to Jersey Shore Medical uh, Center. And I know that the motherfuckers at the hospital have the documentation of that. And if they don't, they destroyed that motherfucking paperwork. Because I had to rush him to the fucking hospital. Because his fucking lungs was fucking closed together. And my son couldn't fucking breathe. All the way from Baltimore, Maryland, and Neptune, New Jersey. On the fucking, on the highway, praying that my fucking son making and shit like that. And then the medicine that I showed them that you was giving him, you and Tina was giving him, wasn't even the shit that he was supposed to have been prescribed and shit like that. Like, y'all motherfuckers did a whole bunch of fucking shit. So, all of y'all karma, all of this shit that y'all motherfucking doing, I'm putting this shit in this, put, I'm putting it out there on videos and shit like that. So, it ain't even nothing that y'all can motherfucker try to cover the fuck up. Jersey Shore Medical Center motherfucking took my, admitted my fucking son into the motherfucking hospital. I want to say Marquise was like fucking three, four. He was young as shit. But I remember having to take him straight to the motherfucking emergency room from Tina House in, in fucking Maryland and shit. And y'all was giving him the wrong fucking medicine. And, and if I and the doctor told me, had I not brought my son in there when the fuck I brought him in there, he was going to fucking die. That was the fucking most heartbreaking and shit that I fucking ever had to hear in my fucking life. So I know that y'all motherfuckers was intentionally trying to fucking kill my fucking son. All of y'all motherfuckers, I'm pressing, I want, I want charges pressed on all of y'all. Every last one of y'all. Just like when Dawn left my fucking son, Dawn and Darren left my fucking son in the house when they lived in fucking, um, in Maryland over there at the address that she was living when the fuck the Dyfus people took our fucking kids away from them. I forget the name of the motherfucking street, but y'all know where the fuck I'm talking about. Where Darren left my motherfucking child in the motherfucking house with that music blasting and shit. And I had to wind up calling the police and shit like that to motherfucking get up in there. And when we got up in there, Marquise was in, was in there by his fucking self and Jane and CJ was at school. Y'all try to cover that shit up too, but y'all motherfuckers want to play in my motherfucking energy, want to motherfucking do all of this bullshit, be behind the scenes trying to set me up, plot and scheme and do all of this bullshit that y'all doing. But none of y'all motherfuckers came out y'all motherfucking dick beaters The motherfucker tell none of this dumb ass shit that y'all motherfucker did on y'all motherfucking end. You understand what I'm saying? And Louise Hibbler was down with all of this shit because I went there. I went above her head. I went to the, I did the chain of motherfucking command in the motherfucking uh, social services down there in motherfucking Baltimore City too when they, when they released my, gave me my son back. <laughs> January 2000. Because y'all didn't have nothing to fucking against me. I went through every fucking program. I did everything that was asked to me. I had a job. I had a stable house and all of that shit. And y'all motherfuckers was playing in my motherfucking energy all of that motherfucking time. Doing all of this motherfucking bullshit. And then now all of a sudden there ain't no documentation that could be fucking found about certain shit that y'all was doing. Because y'all motherfuckers had fucking wine and all of them paying motherfuckers in different municipalities to motherfucking cover up and shred shit, right? That's how y'all doing, right? Then got the nerd to want to motherfucking link up with my motherfucking sorry ass fucking family. The motherfucking plot scheme and strategize to take me and my fucking son up out of it. Well, me and all of my kids, but you want to motherfucking take my motherfucking son out because my son is more of a man than your coward ass will ever fucking be. Let's just call a fucking spade a spade. Just like for you, mom, I'm more of a fucking woman than you will ever be. And it ain't even on no boasting or no bragging. It's about integrity and morals. And what you value in this fucking world. Obviously, you don't value near one of your children.
or grandchildren for that fucking matter. All you care about is your pocket being lined and your motherfucking stability and your motherfucking image being upheld to the utmost, just like your motherfucking sisters and everybody else in this motherfucking stupid ass motherfucking family where I know motherfucking well your grandparents and your great grandparents, just like my fucking great grandparents, my grandparents and every fucking body that's up there that's looking down. Some of them up there, they had a part in some certain shit that took place and transpired here on this motherfucking physical realm, right? But they up there seeing what the fuck is going on now. This shit got a motherfucking stop. Because I know they up there getting their ass tore by their motherfucking parents and their motherfucking grandparents that's up there with their motherfucking ass. Or wherever the fuck they being haunted or wherever the fuck slayed at. You feel me? I know my part and my position that I'm here to fucking do. And it's to expose this bullshit that y'all motherfuckers been doing all these motherfucking years. And then when the motherfucker have us medicated all out our minds and shit like that and all crazy. Making false reports and all this other shit. Y'all the motherfucking socio-psychopath motherfucking murderous motherfucking scandalous motherfucking scamming ass thieves. For whoever's looking into this, if you know what I mean, like, cause y'all the ones that got motherfucking properties and shit, and other people name that's not your motherfucking name, like. But y'all want to make these reports that motherfuckers is not taking care of their kids, they not doing this, they not doing that, but you're doing this shit to your fucking children. Make it make fucking sense for me, please. Please make it make sense. I swear, I, I, I mean, then you got your motherfucking siblings that got children and shit like that too. Like y'all, y'all didn't think about none of this shit, man. Y'all some fucking smart ass genius dumbasses for real. Y'all so smart, y'all is really fucking stupid. That's all I'm gonna say about that shit. Like. Come on, man. It's a whole different era. It's a whole different motherfucking wavelength that's going on in this planet. Knock, knock, knock. Had y'all not fucking see what's going on in this fucking world? No, y'all too motherfucking too busy. Self, self centered, self absorbed, worrying about money and this, that, and the third. When your motherfucking ass motherfucking kick the motherfucking bucket, where is that money going to go? When you no longer here in the physical body, like I want to be able to leave the generational wealth. With my children, you know what I mean? So that they don't never have to worry about whether or not they going to be taken care of or none of that shit. Because the shit that motherfuckers did leave for me, y'all bitches done stole that shit. Because y'all think I'm not fucking worthy of it. But y'all ain't put in no motherfucking real motherfucking groundwork and shit like that when it came for y'all time to get y'all shit together and to choose what the fuck it is that you want to do with your life. That's what the fuck y'all chose to do with y'all life. I chose to want to do something different with my fucking life and fucking be here for my children and the next generations and more generations to come and motherfucking go out and speak and see the children and fucking do arts and crafts and double dutch and shit like that. Shit that I miss doing in my motherfucking childhood. You know what I mean? That's what my spirit at. Y'all motherfuckers want to motherfucker be sitting here killing motherfuckers and poisoning us. Y'all just... just uh, uh, helping other motherfucking family members set up motherfucking plots and schemes and shit like that. Killing motherfucking husbands for insurance policies and fucking 401ks and all type of crazy ass shit. Y'all motherfuckers is fruit loop bananas ridiculous. I might say some shit and lash out in fucking anger and shit like that, but my motherfucking spirit know that it's not my motherfucking duty to slaughter or slay no motherfucking man, not unless I'm supposed to be sitting here protecting my motherfucking queendom. And my first and foremost, my fucking children. And I'm not going to let nobody harm me. So I will protect myself, but I'm not just going out here all willy-nilly just motherfucking being all in the group chats and shit like that. Talk about some idea. Rock, scissors, paper, shoot. All right. You say $200. I say five. Man, man, y'all motherfuckers doing fucking hostage negotiations and all type of crazy ass other shit, man. Y'all motherfuckers be doing way, way, way the most. And I keep telling y'all stupid asses that y'all motherfuckers is being monitored, so... <sighs> I'm cool with whatever the outcome going to be regardless of whatever I'm still going to be who I am I still want to go feed the homeless I still want to go fucking try to get a recreational center so it's things for after school children to be able to do so that they won't be out there on the streets getting influenced by the wrong individuals doing the wrong shit 
You know what I mean? I want to be the person that I needed the most when I was in the, in my youth. I've had, you know, positive influences in my life and things of that nature. I'm not even going to hold you, but I'm just saying it takes more than one person to want to do right. You know what I mean? And I'm a part of the ones that want to do right. I'm a part of the ones that want to provide new opportunities and start new foundations for the youth so that we let them know that they matter. You know what I mean? And not have them questioning whether or not they're good enough just by showing by leading by example. I'm not a perfect person. I don't never profess to be, and I'll tell my children the truth. Whatever they come and ask me, I don't sugarcoat nothing with my children. I'm not about to sit here and lie to them and then expect them to tell the truth. And I'm not going to let nobody else do that. So for all y'all motherfuckers that want to implant shit and say this and that and that and this and that and the third, y'all not even giving me the opportunity to show and prove who the fuck I truly am and what the fuck I truly am capable of. Everybody doubted me. Everybody shitting on me. Everybody motherfucking underdog me. I'm the underdog. Underdog's always going to be on top. I always root for the fucking underdog because it's the underdogs that get that shit out the motherfucking mud. On some real strong man shit. That shows the motherfucking strength, endurance, and integrity through the motherfucking struggle. I'm not touching It ain't about stepping on nobody else's motherfucking neck to get a motherfucking head or the motherfucking sit behind the scenes and plot to kill somebody just to be able to fucking be relevant. That's not what this fucking journey in life is a fucking about, assholes. Yes, I call you assholes. Assholes. Because y'all want to keep. Treating motherfuckers like we assholes when we fucking not. All I'm saying is, I had to get a reality check and I had to self assess and you know what I mean? Look at parts that I played in certain situations that I've been a part of in my life. Take accountability for those things. Try to make amends when I can and you know what I mean? Put it out there to the universe to handle the rest. But still ask for strength and guidance to keep pushing forward to do what it is that I initially set out to do with my motherfucking childish and my motherfucking spirit as I want to fucking jump in bouncy houses and shit like that. We don't have the space for it. We going to have the space in a little bit, baby. Trust me. I want to jump in bouncy houses. I want to play hopscotch. I want to do little kid shit. I want to go fucking play laser tag without having to worry about whether the motherfucker is going to fucking 187 me and my children and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody should have to worry about that with their children. Going out to have a good time, to fucking live life, to mind their business, to, to, to succeed and grow and expand. Just get it together, y'all. Damn.